I'm Fan Yu. I'm a member of uh, a terror award grooming team. And uh, today I'm going to show how to grooming uh, rough collies. So this is our model dog, the name is Bun, Mr. Bun. And uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, I'm just starting on brushing. So the brushing is very important for this rough coat breed. You can see the coat is very rich and really rough. So first uh, we're gonna choose the good tools on using brushing. Now I'm using the speed. to help brushing. And I'm gonna use the pin brush because the pin brush is not really hurt the hair. Will be protecting the hair. And then now you can see I'm doing like layer by layer. And you're feeling your hand and the brush jumping on the hair. That is perfect. So now you can see after we're jumping on the hair, all the hair is going to fluffy and looks very rich. So we're not brushed like this. We're not brushing down. All the way up. And we use another hand to helping. So now you can see the difference. So now I'm just to repeat this process for the whole body. Now you can see after we're using pin brush, all the hair is coming more smoothy and more fluffy. And now we're using the comb. We're using comb to check all the hair, the mat is being cleaned out. So now you can see and also use the technique I, I would like to call jumping, like make the comb jumping into the air and jump out. It's a, especially the part we would like to look more fluffy and elegant. And on the body, I just follow the direction of the hair. Okay, now we switch the two to the coat rack, which is can help us to clean up the, the extra undercoat. You can see the dog have a really rich coat on the back, but if the coat is too much, the coat will stand up, which is we don't want. So we use a coat rack, layer by layer, carefully, to clean the extra undercoat. So now you can see all the coat coming off is the undercoat. Now you can see the perfect shape on the butt connect to the top line. So every time I use a cold rack, just a little. And brush. So that's the key. 
when we use the coat rack. So now you can see I use the finger technique to stripping, pull the hair off. Now we use the thinning shear to shape the feet like an egg shape. It's not a cat feet on the most uh, shipping breed like herding breed. So the shape on the feet is most like an egg. It's slightly longer than a cat's feet. You just follow the edge on the pot. Of the hand feet, So everybody wants to make a, a, a very rich and elegant neck on rough collie, but I will tell you, less is more. So now you can see the shape like a heart shape. So now I will clean the, the back of the neck. Basically we finished everything except the head. So now you can see the dog's head, especially on the skull, on the top, is really fluffy and make the dog head looks round and wide, which is not good on this breed. So use the stripping knife carefully to clean the undercoat. Then we use the thinning shear, just a little bit. Just a little. Look, the head, the angle is different. Okay, everybody. So today I'm basically finished every part of Mr. Bun, the rough collie, and now I'm using the steak, static, to use the very finishing touching. Okay, so now you can see I just a slightly brush. Okay, so here is the result. I hope you like it. And I'm very enjoying today to recording this video for everybody. And uh, I'm super happy. And I think Miss Bond feels happy now. How much hair I took off. And, uh, but if you look at the dog, you, you, it seemed like I did nothing, right? But here's the result. So that's the point of the grooming rough collie naturally and uh, gently and this slowly is not too fast you, you you won't not going too fast 
because too fast you will make mistake like make a hole on the body. So I hope everybody enjoy.